Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video about how I uh, scrap built my Goblin Doom Diver catapult. But first, I wanted to talk about why I <laughs> scrap built it. You know, why didn't I just buy the model? Well, I don't really think the model is that great. I mean, it's basically a giant sling, and the model doesn't seem to have much detail to it. And now it's fine cost, so probably going to be some imperfections as well. And it's quite expensive. And if you play Orcs and Goblins, you're in luck because the war machines are are just you know tossed together by the goblins. Really, they're they're not built to last, and they're built out of junk. So it's really easy to convert and to do your own. So here we have the basis for the Doom Diver catapult and it's basically six of the square shields that the common goblins have the one with the skull on the other side, I, I just turned all, all those uh, facing downwards so they wouldn't be seen and the other piece there is from a uh, boar chariot I believe uh, I think that's uh, <laughs> A random bit that has been laying around since I collected Warhammer when I was little. So, so I, I probably had it for nine or ten years and haven't done anything with it. And here's from another angle. It's basically just a ramp at this this point. And yeah, <laughs> kind of a jump. Uh, a lot of things. Happened since then. I didn't really have a plan when I built this. I just kind of kept adding bits on and got an idea to put wheels on. And then I did that, and as you can see, I uh, cut off the bottom of the wheels just to make it more stable. This sling thing is uh, it's from the Ogre Kingdom. Uh, box for, that can make the iron blaster or the scrap launcher and these parts make up part of the scrap launcher so if there's anyone playing ogres in your gaming community and uh, they've made a uh, iron blaster instead of a scrap launcher from the new kit then they probably got the got these bits left uh, as leftovers so you can and Let's face it, no, nobody builds the scrap launcher because it's good at exactly the same thing as everything else in the Ogre Army, which is kill infantry models. So probably everybody that bought that kit has these parts laying around, if, if they didn't throw it away, of course. So probably very easy to come by. And you can see I, I added some uh, more shields at, at the bottom, in, at the front of the... Doom Diver Catapult just to give it a little bit of a, ste a steeper angle. And there's another shot from above. You can see there I added a li uh, little piece of a shield there as well, just so it would you know, look more crap. So it actually looks like the goblins have you know, thrown it together from scrap. And here it's in profile, somewhat painted, as it is currently. Yet another picture of it. You know, it's mostly, you know, painting wood, which is ac actually quite easy. But I see so many people just throwing on, you know, one brown and not, you know, having a highlight or shadow or anything in it. I, I'm not saying I'm doing it really well, because honestly I don't think I'm doing it really well. But I just think many people don't uh, take time to paint you know, the wooden parts of many models. And here's a comparison uh, to the old Doom Diver catapult that's built from GW. And... Uh, Initially, w when I was done modeling my Doom Diver catapult, I uh, I was like, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to use this. It, it's so so small. People might feel that I'm cheating by making a smaller war machine somehow, you know. But when I compared it to uh, this older one, uh, 
now I don't have any problem using mine because it's more model than uh, the old GW and I think it looks way more effective than the GW one and actually you can see it better here from above if I w was to put mine on the same base as the this old Doom Diver, parts would stick out, so I would probably need a bigger base than this old one has. Well, you can all also see. So that is basically how I did my Doom Diver catapult. Extremely <laughs> easy to scrap build, and uh, I don't know really the the actual sling thing i think that's extremely easy to come by if you know an ogre player otherwise i i don't really know of any good alternative uh, pieces to build it off and I, I mean the square shields made it made it really easy to make you know the actual ramp and the bit from the chariot you know <laughs> almost made the rest and then i just uh, Added some more shields at the bottom to give it the right angle and some wheels because uh, it felt like it like it wasn't enough on the model. You know. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope you're inspired to scrap build a war machine yourself.